All right, last video of the day, let's check out what's going on with Bitcoin. So I will make this fairly quick. I don't feel like I need to run down the whole analysis of everything that's going on right now, simply because if we look at the daily, you know, it, it does seem like there's only really one thing on my mind and it is us closing below this 40,000 level. So uh, in my opinion, while we do, if we do close below 40,000, we would have put a weekly candle below, you know, this big psychological level, somewhat lining up with the 0.5. So, you know, I, I'd say 39,855. If we do close below that level, in my opinion, we are kind of getting set up, setting up for at least backtesting the previous lows down here at 34,000. You can see from where we are now, this is about a 13% drop. Uh, if we did fulfill the M pattern that we've got over here, if we come back to the daily, you can see it's really not too far away, but the, the number one thing is that, you know, once we do kind of come down to this M pattern, we will have, we would have solidly broken the market structure. So, I mean, we already have broken the micro downtrend. If you see that we do have this nice trend line that was, you know, very, very much uh, support up until, you know, yesterday. So we fell through it. I was outlining in my videos that I would personally not be flipping bearish until we do break below this trend line and the 40,000. Because, you know, you can see that, you know, even when we were coming back here, if we did go off to the races, it would have been a so be it moment. But, you know, if we do come over to the total crypto market cap, everything is breaking down right now. So uh, crypto is really not looking too healthy. If we do take a peek at the stock market, you can see the stock market is breaking down, which is why the total crypto market cap is breaking down, which is why Bitcoin's breaking down. So yeah, I don't want to make this video about all of the indicators. I really don't feel like I need to talk about the RSI, the volume. I don't need to pull out the Heiken Uh But you know, if, if the main points I want you to take away from this video is that, you know, it do, it is starting to look quite shaky for Bitcoin. So. Uh, personally, I would be looking for a price target down here, which is a 14% drop at 32,000. My utmost lowest, lowest price target that I believe is going to get filled is between this 30,000 and 28,000. So uh, if we talk about the 28,000 first, you can see that this was the low we put down in on the 22nd of June. As long as we do stay above there, you know, you know, we, we probably will get a very strong bounce coming in very soon. And also, if we do kind of look between the 30 and the 31,000, uh, what I'm keeping an eye on in the 31 to 30,000 level is Michael Saylor's average buy-in price. So Michael Saylor's average buy-in is between 30 to 31,000. I personally believe the market has so much confidence in the levels between 28, 30, and 31 that, you know, I really, really i do feel like there's going to be a lot of buyers stepping in if we do come down here so that's all i really want to tell you for today's video my absolute worst case scenario was twenty eight thousand seven hundred. and do bear in mind i would be over the moon if bitcoin went to that price because i love bitcoin i don't just love it for the short term to make a quick gain i want to hold, hold it for a very very long time so cheaper price targets are always welcome to me so you know if we do put in more red candles tomorrow if we do start going down like this i will start accumulating more bitcoin that is all i really wanted to point out for you keep an eye on the weekly close that's going to be happening in a couple of hours maybe it'll be five or six hours if you're in the us but yeah that's all i've really seen for bitcoin today once again none of this is financial advice this is just my opinion on the market and you've always got to do what's best for you peace